All right, I'm here. I know you guys are probably excited. Not more than me though. So I'm gonna start this up. I just had a, a few issues to take care of. All right, I'm here. I know you guys are probably excited. Alright, so this is The Dig. I don't know if you guys have ever watched this or not, but it's a game from, I'm pretty sure it's from like 1994. It's a LucasArts game made by Steven Spielberg. Of course I miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on Earth. Most exciting thing ever happens here is a day when it don't rain. Uh, excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. What the heck is that? Get so one thing you guys feet. will find about me is I really like the Got story on games, so asteroid on a three -week collision I won't talk Earth. much to you while the story stuff is playing, but I'll, I'll get to you. The asteroid has been named Attila after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. Ooh, 99. Five, four, ignition. up and away. This is not a mission the shuttle was designed for, but as Mission Commander Boston Lowe said in the press conference last night, If the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job, won't it? Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Ludger Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission, she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? 
My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright, I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. Probably, huh? It's cheaper, too. <laughs> Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance. And we've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us. This is where I get to actually play. Hello here. Come on out, kids. The water's fine. Robin's here. Going independent. Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Hmm. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Brink here. Going independent. Howdy, Brink. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. Okay, so I want to give you guys a little background. Um, this is an adventure game, a point-and-click type adventure game. If you've played, you know, like Thimbleweed Park, or some of the more modern versions of games like this, you'll kind of understand how these are. Um, you click on points of interest, so like this is a tool chest, and these are your people. This is, you know, you obviously won't tell you who you are. There's an inventory down here. So I believe, if I remember right, we're trying to get to this asteroid. It was the story just told us. So I want to go down here to see if I can Get this it's the tool pig. chest out. Payload specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. Okay, so uh, Miles is not one of my people, so I'm going to do this. Uh, let's do this. Maggie Miles, right there. Miles, this is low. Do you read? Yeah, 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 Boston. I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, In your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> and I need the flying Ready pig. for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Crew is clear. Proceed. with a pig, Cora? Looking sweet, Boston. You just be good to my baby. Also, I wanted to give you guys some other, like, little info on the dig and how I'm playing it. Um, the dig is one of the first games, really, that we were aware that kind of went through, like, a development hell. So it, because of, I am pretty sure it was because Steven Spielberg, you know, he's a movie, movie director, obviously. Um, but he had direct visions of this. So 
you know, he may not have understood exactly how game development was. And this game was being developed for a long, long time at LucasArts by George Lucas, who actually ran LucasArts at that time. And he's one of his best friends. So they, but they trudged through it and really got a really good game out of it. But it's just still kind of, um, it's interesting to know, to note that. So let me see if I go over to the pig. Load a landing team. I'm taking the pig down to the surface. So Follow here we me. Go. You be good to my baby, Boston, you hear me? We'll be back soon, Cora. Try not to miss me too much. Blow out. Down to the asteroid, apparently. Oh, not yet. Okay. What do I gotta do? Um, click. Oh, that's right. Um, we're trying to blow this asteroid up, so maybe this arming key is something I gotta use. No. Nope. It's been a long time since I've done this, so we'll figure it out together. It won't accomplish anything. The zero-g digger is a bit indelicate to use with explosives. Okay. So do I have to dig? Kind of like it won't do anything. Oh, I see. Taking this stuff out because that's what I need. All right. And then we'll back up. Do I click out? Yep. So inventory. No. That's not what I need to do. it I'm pretty sure this is not right and I clicked that by kind of accident I can't use these two things together yeah I figured you can't okay so. Oh yeah, that's right. This is that game, Asteroid Lander. I don't know if you guys have ever played this, but I don't really want to do this right now. Oh, come on. I almost beat Maggie's high score. All right. Well, I want to get out of here. I think I have to actually land one if I want to get out of here. No way! I had that. gonna work for me all right let's
Let's see if I can get out of here. No way. I had that. All right. So that's done for that. Let's see if I can talk to somebody to figure out what to do. Board. Come in, board. I'm here, boss. Give us the go-ahead on the explosives, Ken. Plant Alpha Charge in Quadrant 2. Make okay. sure you get it on a level surface so Attila blows in the right direction. Okay. So... Quadrant 2. Low out. Cockpit out. See if we can go around the asteroid. Quadrant run. Quadrant two is where I need to go. Get it on a level surface. Don't know if I have to dig or not for this one. Apparently not. So let's get. Looks right. level enough to me. Nope. You guys are seeing how I uh, play games, which is lots of trial and error. Here, let's put away that. Let's talk to somebody. Load aboard and do you copy? I'm here, boss. Are we in position, Ken? Attila's given us less gravity than I expected, but the attitude jets are compensating. We need to fire the housekeeper. The ground is rough and broken all over the target site. Aw, oh, shucks, and we forgot the vacuum cleaner. Better use the zero-g digger. Okay. That's one expensive broom, kid. Whatever works, just be careful. Don't dig out your own toe or anything. <laughs> Low out. Cockpit out. So I pretty much, I would think now that will give me permission to use that. I can't use these two nope. things together. Sorry. It won't do anything. Exit first. That's the one thing about these games. They're very specific in how you had to do stuff and what order you had to do things in. Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. Nice and smooth now. Alright, so now I'm going to plant that first charge, I believe. Shuttle, this is low. We're placing the explosive in quadrant two. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this brick? I'll be right there, Commander Low.
Excellent work, Brink. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirm. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. Okay. So let's see what we got now, huh? Obviously, I have one more charge. Oops. By accident. We'll abort that. Borden, this is low. Do you read? I read you low. What is it? I'm thinking I need to know. Give us the go ahead on the explosives, Ken. Plant beta charge in quadrant three. Make sure you get it on a level surface so Attila blows in the right direction. Okay. Low out. Cockpit out. Space, and then we will look at what quadrant three. So I don't know if I actually told you guys, but I am playing this on a retro hardware that um, I actually am using the, the uh, GOG game for this one because my CD was kind of messed up. So I'm playing it on retro hardware though, so it is actually playing on a PC that is from around a few years newer than actually, might be a year or two newer than the game. So let's look around Boulder. There's a big rock right where I need to plant the nuke. Okay, so what can we do about that? The digger work. Guess what, boys and girls? Using the zero G digger on this boulder is gonna work just as well as trying to move a sand dune with a teaspoon. We better think of something else. Better find out what Mission Control suggests. Mission Control? Okay, so... I'm not calling Houston until I'm sure there's nothing we can do. Right. Just think for a minute. So is there something we have or something we can do here? Let's see what I got. Flashlight... It won't do anything. That's not gonna do nothing. That's not going to work. Let's call somebody. Let's call... Let's call Borden again. Borden, this says. is low. Do you read? I read you low. What is it? Got a problem. Hey, Ken. How come nobody noticed there was a boulder right on the target site? So, pick it up and move it. <laughs> Boulders are lighter in low G. It's still attached to the surface, Ken. That's why you get the big bucks, boss. <laughs> Well, thanks for nothing, Low out. Ken. Cockpit out. Jerk. There's a big rock right where I need to plant the nuke. All right, so let's talk to this Robbins. guy. Robbins, come in, Robbins. Robbins here. What is it? Getting anything juicy for your first article? I'm not writing my article right now, Commander Low. Low out. Okay, so that's not the way to do it. Low to Brink. Come in, Brink. Brink here. I read you. The explosive charges haven't been bumped or anything, have they, Brink? Alpha charge and beta charge are both doing fine, Commander. So. What do you think of our star reporter? Very unorthodox, bringing a reporter on a space mission. But she is very capable, and she writes interesting stories. Okay. Low out. So. There's a big rock right where I need to plant the nuke. Alright, so what do I do? I'm 
not gonna wear out the zero G digger trying to cut through this much rock. Okay. Much more elegant than the shovel, and more useful in space. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? This is Robbins. Kind of strange thinking of nuclear explosives as precision instruments, isn't it? I think it's a nice change, compared to thinking of them as weapons. Oh, I see. That's your story angle. Nukes to save the world instead of destroy it. That's way too long to be the headline, Commander. More likely it'll be... Nukes save world. Or maybe nukes blast Attila off course. <laughs> I thought it would be space aliens plot to abduct astronauts, destroy Earth with giant rock. Apparently my career is amusing to you, Commander. Why is it I can tease everybody on this crew except you? Because they know you like them, Commander. I like you, Robbins. No, you don't. Yeah, no, not really. So, I'm thinking... Low out. There might be one more person to talk to, but I can examine something. There's a big rock right where I need to plant the nuke. Well, I know that. Can't use any of that. Oops. Miles, this is low. Do you read? Miles here. Looks like we got us a big old boulder right on the target site. Too big for the zero G digger? Oh, the digger could do it. In maybe a week. Uh, let me think what else in the pig might be helpful. What about the spade? Any place where you can get leverage to use it like a pry bar? No matter what they all say, Cora, you're a genius. Yay. Low out. So I do I have to go back to the pig? I'm pretty sure. Cause I don't have the spade. I didn't see it. This is like 99% of the fun back in the day to actually fail at it and go back and get it. Let's head back to the shuttle, folks. Get back what you need and then go back. That's right. I, I was an idiot. I left it on the planet, or the asteroid. Let's head on back to the surface, folks. I hope we finish up this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quadrant one That's where I had the pig. Yeah, that's kind of something I should have noticed from back in the day that that would have been like that. Kind of not really that evident it was there, at least for me. I know you guys probably saw it. Quadrant 3, right? that thing out of there. Cora, Ken, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? 
Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles in zero-g under maximum thrust conditions. In other words, who knows, it might work. Boss, be careful. If the handle breaks, maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the saying, whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone, it ain't gonna hurt the stone. Thanks for the encouragement, Ken. Frank, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Looks like it worked. Now, aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. If you can pick her up... <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig Can, in Maggie's Kind of see why Larry likes this game so much. I'm not going to you. Lighten up, Robbins. <laughs> They're just teasing. If they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. Shuttle, this is low. Now placing the explosive on the face of the asteroid in quadrant three. Yeah, acknowledged. I need another hand here, Brink. Of course, Commander. So that's on there, and I think we gotta get the hell out of here now. Load aboard and do you copy? This is Borden. Give us the go ahead on the explosives, Ken. Arm the firecrackers and let's go. Oh, you're telling Low out. me I forgot to do that. Cockpit out. So I gotta arm them too. All right. Yeah, I should have thought about that. Look at the pretty red light, boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed. That away. We'll go to the next one, or the last one, I should say. Squadron two. At least it's fast when it transitions because it's all loaded into the local PC's memory. This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now, kids. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Who writes your material, Commander? I get it all out of the newspapers, Robbins. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Let's head back to the shuttle and watch Attila do the old fire dance. Inside for the fireworks. Confirm everybody inside. All in, Cora. All clear payload. All clear landing team. All clear shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. Hey, 
explosives armed. Houston gives us the go-ahead. Same when, boss. Do it. But... Now, let's see. Is it the big green triangle or the little red circle? Shut up and push, Ken. My baby's getting impatient. Here we go. We have detonation. Alpha and Beta. What are the instruments showing? Nothing big coming our way. What's the pig telling us, Cora? Attila's still in one piece. Mm, there's a lot of seismic bounce, some, some fracturing. We're stable again. A radioactivity in Quadrant One is well within the safe range. What does Houston say, Ken? Everything's go for a surface walk at your option. Then let's go, landing team. Let's see what Attila looks like after plastic surgery. Be careful, kids. Attila is more dangerous now than before we tamed him. Those were certainly profound first words to speak on Earth's new moon. I'm not making speeches, Roberts. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. Commander, I can collect rock samples later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. We're gonna do it eventually. We might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Remember, any rock may be loose, and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Cora, send down the pig, please. We'll need the light. Of course, like any good game from the 90s, it's a slow start. You see anything unusual, Brink? It's hard to determine how this tunnel was formed. It wasn't created by the explosion. No, no, it's very ancient. The explosions opened the door, but this tunnel. Old, but not as old as the asteroid. What does that mean? I don't know yet. It just feels... unnatural. There are some odd projections near the bottom of this tunnel that don't seem to belong here. I think you're right, Brick. The stone projection is unnatural. Yes, but what is it doing here? It's the pig. I can't go any further down this chasm. Frank, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. I can't use these tooth... No! I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. Now that we've found it, my instructions are clear. What I want to hear from both of you right now is I understand, Commander Lowe. I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. 
There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Robert. I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken. Ken, Lowe here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I sent Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Gordon. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately afterward. Oh, cool. This is like a secret code. Just thank Cora. <laughs> You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. We're getting back to work down here, kid. Low out. I'm giving this baby a little push. If that doesn't work, Commander, give it a big push. Why not? The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? It's a small dark opening. Maybe the flashlight? It's a small dark opening. Nope. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? This is Robbins. Nope. Low out. No, it's my mistake. What to call? Miles, this is low. Do you read? I read you, low. What is it? How long will the pig hold out as a light source? Plenty of time. If it starts to run low, we can pull my baby up to the surface and let the solar batteries recharge. Okay. Low out. Good there. Low to board. Do you copy? This is boarded. Oh, low out. Cockpit out. It's a small dark opening. Okay. It's the pig. Shovel. It won't accomplish anything. Dig again. It won't do anything. Oh wait. Yeah. I didn't even think about this. I gotta get back in this mindset. It's a small dark opening. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robbins here. What is it? Does all this mean anything to you? It means that military secrecy is probably going to stop the scientists of the world from studying one of the great secrets of our time. Thanks for your help, Robbins. Okay. Relax, Commander. I know it isn't your idea. Small opening. Everything looks pretty strange with the light coming up on the pig like this. My dad used to put a flashlight under his face on Halloween and scare the neighborhood kids. It made him look so eerie. Low out. Is that a... No. It's a small dark opening. Of course, I'm actually a little stumped right now. Not really sure what I need to do. No. I can't use these two things together. Maybe over here. Oh. I'm going to push another one. Of course, I'm not even thinking. There's another plate. I wish we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. 
It seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates, we wouldn't be able to push them. Right. Hey, why not? It's a small dark opening. Okay, so I got that opening. Oops, is there another plate? Odd projection. Frank, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. Let's dig the crap out of that one, huh? It's another metal plate. I wish there were some sort of inscription. Here's number three. It disappeared too. Ooh, this is a much larger tunnel, so I'm pretty sure I can go down that. It goes off into blackness. Oh, always a good thing to go into, well, right? Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander. Ooh, fancy. pretty awesome all right guys I'm gonna take just like three minutes and I'm going to just uh, grab something to drink and I'll be right back
guys, so I'm coming back. Right where I left off. I'm gonna explore this whatever it is. Hollow square indent, so obviously I've got a make a square. These plates probably fit together, but how? 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 Like that. And I bet I'm gonna have to go find another plate if I remember right. Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. So now I have to go find. I can't use this. I have to go find one. And if it was there, and I didn't see it, um, that's just kind of like the way my life works. I usually take the longest way to do stuff. We can just go back just to make sure. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to find anything else. Unless it's in the vent there. Just make sure this is going to be that way. Yeah, look here in the vent. Just to make sure. A small vent leading back to the outer chamber. Gotta be over here. Oh, this metal plate has got to have some purpose. This metal plate has got to have some purpose. Load a shuttle. Come in, Cora. Nope. Static. All this rock must be interfering with our radios. Okay, so I will figure this out. Sitting over here, I can't see. Okay. Let's see this. Pretty sure I don't I have... can't use these two. It won't accomplish anything. Yeah, I don't have any... It won't do any. It won't do anything. I can't use these two things together. Okay. Obviously, I gotta find the other part. 
find where it's hiding. And maybe it's in the actual outside. not here. Frank, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. Did I already use... I just want to make sure I used, I used all that crap on here, didn't I? Oh. Maybe not. We're three for three here, folks. I've heard of putting a message in a bottle, but never in a big rock. Oh, really? I thought I did. I thought I did that. It's a deep hole into the rock. So that must be the other piece I need, huh? Goodness, I thought I did that. There it is. I'm starting to remember this game a little bit. It's kind of where it just really starts. I feel like someone turned me inside out twice. It's a little difficult to move now. That's because we've got gravity. Planet-type gravity. We're not inside the asteroid. And the pressure is equalized. There's an atmosphere. Can we breathe it? Our suits are checking that automatically. Here we are. Yes, it's at least as breathable as the air in L.A. <laughs> of course, there's always the danger of airborne infectious agents. I don't think so. Alien microbes should be no threat to us. They have not evolved to make use of our cell structures. The oxygen in our suits won't last long anyway. I say we take them off and save the remaining oxygen for the return trip. If there is a return trip. <laughs> right. The air tastes good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship. Faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures. <laughs> right. Here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit. Over. Load a payload. Over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Of course Way we are. Out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, 
It might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. Or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. All right, guys, I hate to do this to you, but I gotta take like a minute. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in here. I have to apologize. I want to just let you guys know that um, my wife is going through some health issues right now, so I have to kind of get off every now and then just to help take care of stuff with her and all that. So hopefully now I'll be on for a little while. So. All right. The platform. Let's go to the clearing. Where are you going, Lo? I was going to check for water. Or some way out of here. Yeah. I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a spaced expedition, Lo. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. <laughs> In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. All right, so which one should I go for? I'm gonna go for this farthest one because I think it's gonna be the one people wouldn't go for. Because since most people are right-handed, they would probably just go for the right one. But I'm probably going to have to go for all of them eventually. Fantastic! Look! More proof of alien life. Do you think there's anyone, or anything, alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful gone. No kidding. Look at the engine. We gotta get back home eventually too. This alien technology is hopelessly ruined. Yeah. It might be something cool. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust. Corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. We might need this wire later. I'm gonna see if I can pull it down. First, shouldn't you turn the power off of the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> ha. Stand back in case <laughs> something comes <laughs> down on our heads. It's beautiful. Ooh. You know that's gonna be important. Changing shapes. Mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship, it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. I will pick up this engraved rod. Did any of you see? Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? Do you also think you can be in the middle of nowhere? And literally on basically another planet. It still might be useful. So we will take all that. And 
Let's see, with the point and click stuff, you gotta look around. Oh, there's something here. Well, I don't see any treasure, but there is something in here. When we get back, the engineers are gonna have a field day trying to figure out how this works. Alright, let's go to the next spot. Back to the clearing. Let's go to the next spot. Kind of what I'm assuming. It's a wreck. Go over here. I'm assuming you're going to pick up something in each of these three areas. We're going to have to go back and use it. Oh. Not just plants, but creatures too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Mark us. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. Obviously gonna have to use a shovel. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. Or maybe not. Let me see. What? Are you just going to dig right in? Yeah. With a shovel? Of course. You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero who destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological <laughs> site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Exactly. Now get out of the way if you aren't going to help, Brink. Yeah. This might take a while. Going to be shoveling for a while, Brink. Just hit him with a shovel, why don't you? What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. It won't do anything. Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. Probably not. Was that one bone what I took? Was that what I needed? Oh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Why did I do that? That was ridiculous. Sorry, guys. Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. Okay. So let's go here. Oh, come on. Great rod. I can't use these two things together. Yeah, pretty sure you can't. I can't use these two things together. All right, I'm gonna just say that's probably okay right now. I'm not really sure. Let's go to this next one. Do you think we could climb this slope? Maybe. No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. But what's the, the engravings point? on yeah. this wall? Are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? Yeah. Aren't you the, uh, 
Wait, you and Brink, the actual people who know this shit? Oh, so now I'm gonna have to figure out what the hell they're going on here. Okay, let's go back to the clearing. I'm sure I'm gonna have to do something here, but let's go back to the day. Yes. There we go. I think we can safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? It knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something, or show us something. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive, or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship, and now it's leading us. You mean this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? Or the Port Authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly, or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 seconds. Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. If I wanted to give you the creeps, I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. How do you know it isn't a ghost? What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. <laughs> right. We need to get anything from here. Hmm. Hmm. I guess this isn't a natural geological formation, right, Brink? Look how close the stones fit. Like ancient Peruvian masonry. So it's primitive. There was nothing primitive about ancient Peruvian masonry, Commander Lo. <laughs> right. You know, it looked primitive, it wasn't primitive. Oops, 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 oops. I did not mean to do that. So let's go to this dirt ramp. Let's just see if the... Since I was there, I probably should go back there. What I do like about this game is at least it's quick to kind of like travel me from place to place. It won't accomplish anything. It won't do anything. It's pointing behind me. Behind, so let's go there to look. A smallish moon in orbit around us. Looks like a large moon in orbit around us. Okay. It won't do anything. It won't accomplish anything. It's pointing behind me. Okay. So cool to look at that. Behind us, so... Maybe we go back to the first place. Behind, behind. You thinking behind is a grave? Or behind is that? The wreck. Let's try the grave first. 
Now I know I can use a device. It's indicating to the left of me. To the left, so the bones. Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. Okay, so I got that now. That's pretty cool. So let's see if the device tells me anything different. It's indicating to the left of me. Still to the left. I'm going to go back to this dirt ramp. See if there's anything here. I can't use these two things to I can't use these two things to get won't do anything. This has been a long time since I played this game, so I really do not remember what to do. It's kind of annoying, but I actually like it. It seems to be pointing at this mound. Okay. Nothing but dirt. So let's dig. Dig. With that device pointing at this mound, I suspect there might be something buried here. How scientific of you, Commander. Dig. Part of the reason they call it the dig. Another random hole bulldozed by our fearless leader. Maybe not. I thought I saw something shining. At An artifact. I'm finding shit. It looks like a bracelet. This artifact is very delicate. It looks like it may be useful as well as ornamental. That's right, Brink. Get that shit. It's happening. Okay, let's see if the device says anything. It's pointing at me. No. Oh. So, do I gotta use this stuff on me? Oops. I can't use these two things together. No, no, no. Use these two things together. It won't do anything. I wouldn't mind wearing it, but it's too small for my wrist. This artifact is very delicate. It looks like it may be useful as well as ornamental. Okay, so the device is pointing at Brink. me. What do you make of the last ghost event? Maggie may be right. It could be sentient, but one does not judge too hastily. Right. Well, I get that. Thanks. That's not what I'm talking about. Robbins. Never mind. I wonder what they use this for. It won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. Okay. You 
share because I'm thinking it might. Am I just in the wrong spot? this here it's pointing at me all right still so what do this I can't use these two things together you know what I'm thinking hold on I'm just thinking thinking which is very uh, scary for me as well as you guys because I'm not that thoughtful of a person. Come on, I need to go back out of here. Thinking that I can get up this. I'm sure I'm totally not even remembering this the right way, but. It won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. There's nothing more to dig up. Okay. So got all that. And I'm sure it still says pointing at me. It's pointing at me. Okay. So I must have everything I need. I just need to figure out what's going on. I don't want to bury this. Oh, maybe that's what we gotta do. Okay. Let's go back to the dais. I can't use these two things together. It won't accomplish anything. It won't do anything. All right, guys, I'm uh, I'm not frustrated. I'm just kind of like I can't use these two things together. I, I don't think do not remember what I was supposed to be doing. Flourish. Let's go back to the wreck, because that, that's got to be something I can do there. Probably not. It's probably all about the dais, but... This was part of the thing back in the day, like... <sighs> used to go back and forth for maybe... This two alien days technology straight. is hopelessly ruined. Pointing at me. And you know, it's gonna be so simple once I actually figure it out. Well, I'm wondering. There's you know. no place to attach the wire. It won't do anything. It points directly at the bracelet. Okay, so the bracelet's important. It won't do anything. I want to use a bracelet with myself, but...
Here we go. This is me. I just figured. Yep. I'm gonna see if I can enlarge the hole. Maybe there's something under here. <laughs> yeah, oh, really? maybe something lives down in that hole. <laughs> the utterances of experts. Let's dig. The ground is soft here. Loose. I think this used to be an opening, and over the years, wind has filled it up with sand and dirt. Here, let me see. Yes, that's right. You're probably right. That means the ground is treacherous. It could be hollow under there. Commander, I think it's time for an archaeologist to do the digging. I'm used to dealing with drifted soil. The shovel is yours, Brink. Just be careful. The ground's pretty unstable. My feet kept sinking. My whole training is to be careful. <laughs> Not to charge in with guns blazing. I'm sure, Brink. Finally, a good use for my extensive training. No! It's completely! I can't! No! Of ah! course, Brink. Oh, no. Brink! I couldn't get to him in time. I couldn't. It happened too fast. Can we get down there? Maybe. How long a drop is it? Looks like the rubble has formed a ramp. Follow me. Of course. Now that it, you know, somebody sacrificed themselves, we can get down there real quick. Here he is. He's not moving. Brink. Boston. He's dead. Of course he is. He fell like how far? I should have been the one digging. Then you'd be the dead one. It was my responsibility to. Well, let's grab the Brink shovel. Brink and I are not children or trained monkeys. We're responsible adults. It could have been any of us, and there's not a thing you could have done to prevent it. But I... to lose Brink, and we've only been up here. Look. You can't keep me safe, and I can't keep you safe. So there's no particular reason for us to stay together. Our odds of getting back to Earth are better if we work separately on figuring this place out. Really? Okay. I don't like the idea of splitting up. Why? Because we're safer together? Ask Brink about that. Because okay. maybe I won't know what I'm seeing without you to help me understand it. If you find something interesting, the communicators still work. Till then... Adios. Ciao. Sayonara. A Wiedersehen. Wow. Maggie, it's against every rule of military action for an officer to be separated from his command. Boston, this isn't a military action. And you don't have a command. There's just you and me. And we both know exactly the same amount about this situation. Which is to say, nada. Nothing. Zip. If we suddenly find ourselves facing an army, then you're in command again. Until then... Adios. Ciao. Sayonara. A Wiedersehen. Nobody likes you when you smart off like that. Yeah. All my psychological tests as a kid said that I didn't work well with others. So this is what failure feels like. Him. It won't accomplish anything. You could be irritating sometimes, but you sure didn't deserve to die. That's right. Don't forget that. Well, it probably wouldn't hurt too. Hmm. The plants seem to draw energy from my body and disperse it among all the plants. They must share a common root system. Yeah, that's what you get from that. Pointing at me. Of 
course, because I gotta do something now. Ooh, panel. Of course, this puzzle. In green. Let's do this. Just leave that for a little bit. I don't think I want to kick this door in. Nope. We will do this. Is it going to save what we had? Yep. Okay, so. Got to figure out what to do here, obviously. I'm sure you'll do the whole game and come back if I remember right, and then, uh. I can't reach it. Of course, because I just... Oh, here we go. This looks like a command center. Of course it does. I mean, what else would it look like? It's an energized crystal. This crystal is lifeless. Right. Have one. I have the rod. It won't accomplish anything. So nothing. Okay. It won't accomplish anything. So obviously I need to find another crystal. It's an energized crystal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I think we all kind of do. Of course, I'm sure it's not going to be I see many here. undersea tunnels, all leading from the large central island to the smaller islands. Right. Oh, sorry. Pretty sure that I'm going to have to go back out and come back into this place because that's where I'll get some kind of I'll get a crystal or something somewhere else go to the airlock again and let's go through that nice hit it again and there you go I come out. No, 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 no. Good. I 
that button. Okay, so we came here. Obviously, we we'll go through here and we'll go to the next place. A ramp of some kind. Also, super curious. Does has anybody watched is that is watching? Have you guys played this game before? And if you have, when did you play it? I mean, did you play it, you know, recently or later? I think a lot of these, like, it's hot here. Have, it really holds up. And it's glowing down there. I'd be curious to know. Ten to one, it's the power source for this place. All I need to do now is to find the light switch, or the plug, or the fuse box, or whatever makes this thing work. An instruction manual might help. Maybe a map. And I could use a sandwich. And a hot jukebox and a cold beer. Or just a starship headed for home. So we need, pretty sure, right, guys? All right, that's going to be that's going to be my problem. I'm going to have to get some. Nothing happened. Of course not, because I didn't do anything. Let's go up the ramp. Let's go back out. Like I said, obviously we're going to have to get all this working. Got my crystal. Pretty sure I can fix this glowing panel. If I can't, well then I'll be kind of pissed off, to be honest. It won't accomplish anything. This crystal is lifeless. So what? I got to dig it out. It won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. This crystal is life. This crystal is lifeless. This crystal is lifeless. It's an energized crystal. This crystal is lifeless. It's where all the crystals meet. This hole is empty. Okay, so. Oh, I see now. Okay. That won't fit. That won't fit. That won't fit. That, that won't fit. That won't fit. That won't fit. It won't accomplish anything. That won't fit. That won't fit. That won't fit. Okay. It's just an energized crystal. Mm, okay. You're gonna be a little tougher than that. Okay.
Okay, I'm thinking maybe I'm just kind of jumping the gun here. Look at this panel. Pointing at me. Pointing at me. Somebody spent a long time engraving these smooth grooves on the surface of this column. I wish I knew what for. Right. I can't use these two things. I can't use these two things together. It won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. Okay. The panels. Shallow indentations. Shallow indentations. So obviously, I need to find. I can't use the it won't accomplish I can't it won't accomplish anything. You need to find these things, these pieces. So I went around the whole circle. And everything's connected. See something. Nope. It's not random. I knew that already. Obviously, I have to get a piece in each of these areas. Let's go this way. Go back down here, I want to just make sure. It's the slot where I found the blue crystal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that where I start is where I start. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just get that. Nothing happened. Right. Yeah. I can look over this edge. Okay. Interesting. The lens is missing. I can see a lens way down at the bottom. I can see a lens way down at the bottom. Right. So do I get that with this? I can't reach that. I can't use these two things together. I can't reach that. Okay, so there's one lens missing here. I can see a lens way down at the bottom. Yeah, I see it too. Unattached. I can't reach that. It's pointing at me. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Everybody, that was uh, 
mistake on my part. Just wonder if I can use some of these things. Yeah, anything. there. I can't use these. Perhaps this bracelet once belonged to this creature, but it's mine now. Right, it's mine now. Oops. There's no reason to tie these together. These two items don't seem to go together. It won't do anything. Okay, so now I've got this. I've got to be able to reach that lens as well. Crazy. Okay. Pretty sure I gotta go use that blue crystal and the crystal in one way or another. Gotta be able to do something here. I gotta take out that old lint, uh, that old crystal, I'm sure. So, can I do that with a shovel? It won't do anything. Load a shuttle. Come in, no, Cora. That's wrong one. Way out of range. But maybe. Robbins. Come in, Robbins. Robbins here. I read you. Okay. Got any ideas about our friendly ghost? Do you think it was trying to get one of us hurt? Of how could I know, not. Boston? But I think it was trying to show us how to get down here. Brink falling and getting killed, that was an accident. Whether the ghost is a sentient being or some kind of holographic guide, it led us into a different part of the complex, didn't right. it? Right. Yeah, but is that good or bad? It's better than sitting around in the sunlight wishing for a swimming pool. Absolutely. Thanks. I gotta get this out. It won't do anything. I can't use. I can't use. It won't do anything. There's three holes. This hole is empty. This hole is empty. Ah. It's pointing at me. I want to get that thing out of here. That won't fit. That won't fit. That, that won't fit. You won't do anything. You won't do anything. It won't accomplish. I can't use it. You won't do anything. Okay. That won't fit. That won't fit. Goodness. I can see a tunnel that connects to the island I just came from. Right, and that's where I went.
All right, guys. Well, I'm going to look around here one more time, but I'm thinking I might just call it a night. I'm kind of uh kind of beat. But I might not. I might grab this and let's just keep going. Another one of these engraved sticks. What right. are they? Wands, batons, bludgeons? All right. Maybe some kind of handheld computer game. With my luck, it's a hand grenade. Let's see here. These seem to serve the same function, but they don't seem to fit together. Goodness gracious, it's probably just me. I'm tired. And I'm not really paying attention that much. It's... You could be irritating sometimes, but you sure didn't deserve to die. Right. It won't do anything. It won't do. I can't use. It won't do anything. Yeah. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it here for the night. Um, I know I didn't get a full two hours in, but I'm thinking this is a good spot to stop. I am, uh, I'll pick up here. T if at very latest, it's going to be next Friday or Saturday. Um, I'm trying to figure out a really good time to stream this and what you guys want to see and what you want me to do. I have no problem doing this a couple times a week. I just need um, kind of feedback from you guys to kind of figure out what's going on. Somebody spent a long time engraving these smooth grooves on the surface of this column. And I'm sure I, I got to do what for. I'm sure I got to use these rods on here, and this may be a good spot to stop. So, let me know what you guys think, and also uh, you know watch World One One podcast and pick us up on uh, YouTube, you know, and click that bell. And we've got uh, we've got other things too. We're doing a new uh, series, Doctor Who Dis, and that is just us talking about Doctor Who. I've never watched a new Who, so this is like pretty cool. And for me, anyway, it's really cool. So I'm gonna see you guys later. I'll talk to you later. Thank you.